What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build a time tracker in Airtable with Airtable's native time tracker app. And so if you're interested for that, stick around. If you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS. And what we do is we help business owners, probably just like you, help them optimize their information systems. So in stuff like Slack, Asana, Airtable, as well as like the glue of all those systems, Zapier and Integrum. So if you're interested in that, you can check out the link in the description and request a consultation from me or someone on my team. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. So as you can see, we are in the sales CRM database. And for this, we're gonna be adding the time tracking feature to a task management base database. And this is in the sales CRM. So we're tracking tasks on opportunities. So these would be maybe all of the tasks that go into your sales process, your CRM management. So for us, I've listed three simple tasks here. I've already built this out and I'll show you, I'll go through all these fields right now to see what you would wanna make them. The important part is you have the time tracking fields and I'll show you what those need to be. And then you have your task fields. So whatever data you wanna be keeping track of on your tasks, that's what we'll be living in this first part of the database. So this first one is going to be task name. So I've already created this task table up here in the sales CRM. The first one is going to be task name, and that is just a single line text field. So you can come in here, make this a single line text field, and it's already named name. The second one is going to be the status of the task. So this one is, there's just three options here. You can change it to the single select field, and we have not started in process and done. And then the third one over here is which opportunity. So this one is linking a certain task to an opportunity in our sales CRM. So if you just want to use this in your, if you have a base that has all of your project management, I think that's great. And you could use this in there as well in your tasks table. And then you could further roll them up, which I'll show you at the end of the video, how to roll them up into the projects if you have a projects table. And then that would be if you have the, for this one, the opportunities is going to be the parent record, the tasks, the tasks are going to be the child record, or in your project management base, it might be the projects are the parent record and the tasks are the child records. So you want to link to whichever project you are working on, or if you just have a simple tasks database, that's fine too. And then we also have a due date, so you, you can use whatever imagination for the due date. Maybe we'll put tomorrow, maybe we'll put the next day, and then the day after that. So then furthermore, these are the fields that you need for your time tracker. You really only need two of these technically, but if you're working on a team and you want to be seeing, okay, who's been working on this, you can actually see that in this collaborator field here. So the only two that you really need are the duration, which is just a duration field. So if you customize this, you can pick duration and then name it whatever you would like. And then the other field is you need a date field. So this doesn't need to be like when the record was created or when the record was last modified. This just needs to be a normal date field with the time toggled on. And that will serve as your start field. So once you have these fields set up, specifically the duration and the start, you'll be good to go. So for us, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over here and install an app. So I already installed this time tracker once and I can show you how it works before we go into building it. So say I wanted to start this one right here, this task make proposal for this client Timber Shadow expansion. So I can start tracking that by just clicking start tracking and click make proposal. So now it started that and I can see now I've been working on it for five seconds. And as we go on, I'll come back and stop that once it gets to at least a minute so you can see it show up here. And it'll show if you do less than a minute, but I'll just wait to, you, to show you that. So to install an app, first you need to make a dashboard. So I would make a dashboard and you just come in here and add a dashboard. And then you come up here and click install an app. So we'll click install an app. And for us, we'll just search time. And if you see right here, if you search time tracker, it'll pull this up. You can keep track of time spent on tasks. You can just quickly install that. And now it'll pull up this. So it'll expand it out. And this, this will be where we pick which table which view and all of that. So for the table, we're going to be picking this table right here, the tasks table. So for you, I would also pick the task table if you're in a project management database, but now you can, it's an optional field to pick the view, but we only have one view and I'll just click that. It's the grid view. If you had a view where you filtered records out, 
you wouldn't be able to start those. You would only be able to select tasks that are not that are that are visible in that view when you want to start your timer. So if you have tasks that are done, you might not want people to be working on those tasks, so you could exclude them from that view. So now the duration field, this is that duration field that I told you I've already added it in here and you should add it in your yours as well. So we'll pick duration there. And then you also should get the start date in here. So it says it's actually optional, but I encourage you to pick it. That way you can see when it was started and how long it took. And then there's also this optional collaborator field. And for this, we'll just pick collaborator real fast and that's it. So now you can click done. And if you want, you can just start tracking right now. So for us, we'll come back up here because this is on two minutes now. And if we click on this, you can click stop tracking. And then it'll open that record up. And also, if you want to be able to stop tracking over here a lot easier, so say we start that one back up, it actually starts at that same time. But if you zoom out a little bit, I zoomed in so you could see it easier on YouTube. But if you zoom out just one more than I had it, you can click stop tracking, pause, or anything from in this little app view, this dashboard view over here on the right. So now we can click stop tracking and it'll update that. So it actually overrode the previous data. Obviously we didn't go more than a minute over so it didn't update it, but say we kept on going with that. And if we come back in here, it'll actually just update once we go maybe to three minutes. So with the one that we made, this new app that we added in here, we can also start tracking with this one. So for this one, we'll start tracking on make this first make proposal. And we can see that that's almost to four minutes. So if you've started a task and then you restart it, it will just add that additional time onto that pre-existing duration field. So I'll stop that tracking there and it'll update that. But now say we come back up here and I'll wait till this gets to three minutes. I'll show you that it actually updates the duration here. And next we're going to be going back into the parent record, that opportunities table. And I'm going to show you how to roll up to see how much total time has been used per opportunity or per project if you're using this in a project management database. So we'll go ahead and stop this tracking right here. And now you can see it updated this to three minutes from two minutes and it's updated everywhere in here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to exit out of this and we're going to go back to the opportunities table. So if we go to a good view here, all opportunities, and we scroll all the way over to the right, we'll be able to see that new tasks field. And if you want to see the total duration of that opportunity so far, if you want to see the total time spent on that opportunity, what you're going to do is you're going to come over here, you're going to click a plus, and then you're going to come down and add a roll up field. Now this is already assuming that you linked up these two tables. You have that linked record in the tasks table. So now you'll add the roll up field and we'll say this is total time. And what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here and you're going to select the fields in this table. So this is, so the actual linked record you want to pick is actually the tasks linked record. I totally missed that when I was editing it. So pick the task link record, linked record. And then now what field you're going to choose is you're going to choose the duration field because you really want to summarize the total time spent and what you're going to use is a sum formula. So if we scroll down, you can either type in some or you can just scroll down. So if I type it in some values, just click on this and then click create field. So now we will be able to see that between these two, between this four minute task and this nine minute task, it totals up to 13 minutes. So this would be really great if you also maybe wanted to have a table where you had all of your collaborators and you wanted to manage time tracking in your agency or manage just time tracking for your employees, you could do a very similar thing here where you total up, you roll up in their parent record, their total time spent on a particular project or just in general. So that is in general how to use Airtable for time tracking. Now I personally don't use Airtable for time tracking. I use a tool called Toggle. So if you want to learn how to integrate Toggle with your Airtable, I actually have a video right here where you can learn how to set up that Zap to integrate Toggle and build out a time tracking database in your Airtable that maybe has a little better UI. And if you're using Airtable for many different things, you don't want to be checking time in a bunch of different places, and let's say it's your project management tool. But I use an app called Toggle, and 
you can very easily use the same thing and set up the same integration that I have. So if you're interested in that, go check out this end screen right here and you'll learn all about that toggle integration, how to set it up with Zapier, and you'll learn everything you need to set it up. So I encourage you to go check that out and, and whether or not you do, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.